How you doing folks? This is Big Len with the Peeper Preppers and this is the first in my series of videos. I'm actually going to show you items that I have in my bug out bag. And um, the items that I'm going to present to you are items that I've done a lot of research on. I've looked at a lot of different models. I've um, went to different stores, trade shows. I've read all kinds of reviews. I've actually handled a lot of different ones. So the items that I present to you guys will be items that I really feel are advantageous to have in your bug out bag or at your house or whatever, just in case you need it. Uh, things go downhill, you want to have something that you can rely upon. So the first one is the uh, Ultimate Cutlery Survival Shovel. Now when I was looking for a survival shovel, I went to Walmart, I went to the Coleman Outdoor Center, I, I went to all kinds of various military surplus stores. I was trying to find a survival shovel that I thought would last a long time, would be easy to carry, uh, and, and that uh, you could also use, you know, in case you needed a defense weapon. That, that slant kind of was attractive to me as well. I got this one on Amazon.com. I actually read a lot of reviews on it. Uh, when I saw it on Amazon, I wasn't quite sure how big it was. That was one thing that um, I just couldn't find any information on the size of it. Um, but after looking at a lot of different ones, I decided on this one, ordered it, and here it is. This is the Ultimate, this is the United Cutlery M48 Commando Survival Shell. And when I read the box online, I kind of thought it was cheesy, but... Actually, it turned out uh, it's turned out to be quite nice. On the back, it says it's made of tempered 2CR13 stainless steel with a hard black oxidized coating, virtually indestructible injection molded nylon handle with 30% fiberglass reinforcement, per perfect for camping, outdoor use, light shopping, or use as a defensive weapon in an emergency situation. Well, there it is right there. So let's take a look at it, shall we? Open up the box, and here it is. Comes wrapped in plastic. United Cutlery Survival Shell. Let's take it out of the plastic. And just taking a look at it right off the bat, folks, uh, it is really nice. It's a very substantial uh, tool. It's got a really nice weight to it. Um, <clears throat> as far as the size is concerned, now that I actually own one, let's take a look here. It's about 16 and a half inches long, and in the sheath, it's about it's about seven inches wide in the sheath. So that's the dimensions of the survival shovel. It comes with a really nice sheath. It's got some loops on the back there where you can put it through your belt or you can put it on your bug out bag. Uh, it's got five rivets that go around it, and it is double stitched. Uh, so it is really nice. Let's take it off. Take a look at it. There it is, a sheath. Um, it's a really nice material. It, it feels very durable. It's kind of molded to the shape of the shovel, which would make it nice for slipping the shovel in. And there's a logo right there, M48 United Cutlery Commander Shovel. So that's really, it's a really nice uh, touch, a really neat sheath to have for it. Okay, so let's look at the shovel itself. There it is, guys. Uh, again, it's a really nice substantial weight to it. It has three rivets or bolts, screws that go through it, and they do have a star on the top, so you'd have to have the star tool to take them off. Uh, one thing that I noticed right off the bat is that the tang, the, the actual part of the shovel, extends into the handle up to here. So the handle goes down, and the shovel itself extends into the handle and it's bolted, which is really nice. That is a really nice touch. That means that thing is not going to go anywhere. It is not going to snap off of that handle, that's for sure. Uh, like some wooden handle shovels that I've seen, you know, you snap the handle, I guess you can replace it, but you know, who wants to do that in an emergency situation? So looking at it, full, full tang, uh, well not full, but halfway into the handle. Okay, the, the head itself, it, it is sharpened, the, the sharpened edge goes all the way around to about here, and then you've got this, this section right here that I guess is for chopping or, you know, doing whatever with, but the, uh, the sharpened edge is really nice, and it is quite sharp. That is quite sharp. Uh, I can definitely see how this would make a really good defensive weapon in an emergency, no doubt about it. 
That's in my hand right there. Really nice size. You could easily put that in your bug out bag. But with the sheath, man, you can hang it on your bug out bag or around your waist off your belt. That is the United Cutlery Commando Survival Shovel. Again, folks, really nice, durable shovel. And let me tell you, you know, I looked at a lot of different shovels, all kinds of folding shovels, um, and this really has to be the best one that I've seen. Uh, I highly recommend it. Again, the sheath comes with it. Let's just put it right back in there. Fits right back on it. And there you got it. Ready for your bug out bag or right around your waist. So that, guys, is the United Cutlery uh, Commando Survival Shovel. I uh, ordered it off Amazon.com. Prices, I'm sure, will vary. It wasn't that expensive at all. I uh, highly recommend it. Uh, again, guys, this is the first video in a series of videos where I'm going to actually review the items that I have in my bug out bag. I've got everything from a, um, a portable MFM shortwave radio short with a shortwave antenna to you know, flares, I've, I've, I've got everything from survival bars to a first aid pack. So I've really done a lot of research in as far as what to actually put in a pack. Uh, it's not going to be your typical bug out bag with, you know, five or six items thrown in it. It's a substantial pack made to uh, help you survive anywhere at any time. Uh, for any amount of time. It is a very in-depth survival pack. So again, this is the first item in it. The M48 Commando Survival Shovel by United Cutlery. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, again, this is a first review, so I'm sure they'll get better as I go along. If you have any suggestions or comments, feel free to leave them on my YouTube channel. Again, thanks a lot, guys. God bless, and I hope to hear from you soon.